Dude, I don't give a shit what those douches say. Those shares aren't worth the tampons they're printed on. Uh, what for? <laughs> Tell them to stick it in their ass. I'm on the phone, guy. No, I understand that, but I've... <laughs> Pearson, Inspector Lid, what business do you oh, have? Oh, Jesus farm? Christ, lick my balls. What'd you just say to me? Oh, man, skid marks. <clears throat> NL Telefono, hombre, comprende? All right, man, I got a jet. We're settling into our new digs today. All right, later, bros of Stalin. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hi, I couldn't help but over here. It must be some mistake. We're leasing space to the satellite division of the Stevens Investment Group. That's me, pal, Stu Bazzini. I run the satellite division. Well, that wasn't made clear to me when I met your boss. Old man River? He's not gonna drag his ass in here every day. He's got one foot in the grave. Well, then did he share with you the lease agreement because it clearly outlined the dress code? You think I wear this to work? What, am I an asshole? Next time you see me, I'll be in a suit three times more expensive than yours. This is a Brioni. It's a bruschetti, as far as I'm concerned. Come on, buddy, give me some. Come on, Brad, let me hang in. Well, I don't. That's my girl. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Sally. Hey, holler at me if you need anything, okay? I'm looking forward to being douche mates. <laughs> Jet stick, huh? You get that girl's number last night? That's right. <laughs> Bullshit, how did you track us down, man? I thought we fired you. <laughs> Holy right. goddamn shit, what have I done? Come on, boys, let's make some money. Donna, listen to me. I know. Then you know that I... Shit the bed like you never have before? I am so... Bang the monkey? Screw the pooch? Donna, please. Flink the flank? What does flink the flank mean? It means I'm not finished enjoying this. When do you think you'll be finished? Because I need to know what to do. I don't know. When does their lease expire? Oh, my God. I cooked in an extension option. Louis, relax. The important thing to remember here is that this is your fault for not listening to me. How does that help me? It doesn't. It helps me. Donna! OK, listen to me. If you really want my help, I'm going to give it to you. What's going to happen is, sometime in the next 24 hours, a minor incident that would mean nothing to anybody else but you is going to make you want to undo this fiasco. I want to undo it right now. Well, I'm telling you not to because in addition to making things worse, Jessica will kill you. So just wait things out, and in another, I'm sorry, when does their lease expire again? 18 months. 18 months? This whole thing will be a distant memory. Can you do that? Can you let it go? Mm. Yes, I think you can. Mm. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Mm, yes, I can. Then go forth and conquer. I'm gonna give him about an hour and a half. Prune juice, prune juice, you are so sweet. I love you all the way from my head down to my god damn it! Hey, guy, what can you do for me? The name isn't Guy, it's Lewis. And I had a two gallon bottle of prune juice in the refrigerator. I wanna know where it went. No problem, I had to toss that shit. You threw away my prune juice? Let me put it this way. If my asshole had an asshole, that's what it would smell like. That's what it's supposed to smell like. Take it easy, bro. It's just prune juice. No, it isn't just prune juice. It's the sanctity of my kitchen. And on top of my prune juice, you ate all of my brand bars. You must spend a lot of time on the shitter. That's neither here nor there. You, sir, are in violation of subsection 3C of your lease, which means if it happens again, you're out in your ass. What? What kind of dildo puts brand bars and prune juice in a lease agreement? This dildo. This dildo right here. Are you nuts? No. I'm your worst nightmare, because this quivering, angry dildo isn't going away until it gets its satisfaction. What did you just say to me? I just said, this dildo is going to be in your face, slapping it around, then up your ass, marching you right out the door if it catches you in violation of your lease ever again. What the goddamn hell is going on in here? It's looking good, isn't it? OK, buddy. You just signed your death warrant. I gave you 30 days. Now you've got 30 minutes. I don't think that's happening, boss. Not only are we staying, but we're making your beloved bullpen the center of our operations. Because your big bro amended our lease. This is bullshit. Why the hell would Harvey do that? Let's just say I helped him out of a jam. This isn't over. Because whatever Harvey did, he doesn't know contracts like I do. And you don't know him like I know him, because this new lease is tighter than your mom's ass. That's it. I am suing you for slander, because my mom's ass is miles from tight. I'll take your word for it, bro. And bring it on, because you may be a Harvard-educated lawyer, but I'm a Yale-educated lawyer. And the difference between me and you is I know the real money's in trading. Now get the hell out of my bullpen. <laughs> <laughs>